let's talk about ease india travel yes and let's start with the question that must be at the top of everyone's mind how has the pandemic affected your business uh the pandemic has been very hard ashutosh it's been really hard on us hmm. um uh, what 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 i thought started off as just some simple fear mongering amongst prospective clients way back in february 2020 became a reality by march end hmm. uh it was like a quick jump from you know telling people oh it's not in india yet to going into lockdown within a month i know and uh, thereafter of course business completely dried up and i'm not the only one in the industry to have mm-hmm. faced this a uh, lot of my uh, colleagues competitors uh, have gone through uh, similar uh, you know uh, hardships Correct. i had to shut my office space uh, in may 2020 because i took that call very deliberately mm-hmm. um i needed to cut overheads uh, we are a young company we're just a startup and uh, since i don't have any outside funding we are a self funded Correct. operation Correct. and it was only the initial one year that i had to really fund myself there after the company has sort of sustained itself but uh, i needed to take some crucial and some very hard decisions along the road mm-hmm. and i did mm-hmm. but i also uh, consciously made an effort to keep the company alive okay um within uh, our circles of uh, you know clients i would uh, connect with people very often and i'm very lucky that the clients would themselves my former clients would themselves connect with me and they would keep reminding me that it's okay this is a hard time we understand what you're going through but we will travel again and we will travel with you interesting so that kind of infused a lot of optimism in me and i sort of saw through the bad uh, phase and after the lockdown opened a little bit in august i started traveling okay. because i said that uh, i needed to build some traction as well mm-hmm. and uh, you know it's important to uh, produce new content you know how it is in the travel industry it's full of glamour and mm-hmm. you know everyone wants new information all the time so in august itself i started traveling and then i've been traveling ever since i haven't okay. stopped okay. i just came back uh, from two trips mm-hmm. in the last one month and uh, from january of this year things have started looking up for us and now so now with the vaccination coming yes. i'm hoping that uh, travel will be back again yes this uh, uh, travel uh, will be back again absolutely and in fact you know i think uh, the pandemic was in a way a blessing in disguise for me as a person because i had gotten too carried away being an entrepreneur and there's a lot of things in my personal life that i had neglected over the last 3 4 years and uh, it was like sort of a um, let's say a reality check for me um i also feel that uh, uh, a lot of people are not waiting for the vaccine um i've had clients taking trips from december of last year because uh, they are uh, really fed up of being cooped up at home and they feel that okay you know what if it's to happen let it happen um including senior citizens so you would think that the most vulnerable section would kind of keep away from traveling right now but i was just uh, in hampi with a group of senior citizens and they haven't taken the vaccine and they were gung ho about going on this trip because nice. they just wanted to get out of home very nice yeah so let's let's so- 